Hello all and welcome to this uh, piece of information. This is going up on YouTube as a video and on the Audio Boo service. So we've got here a firmware update for the iMac and I should tell you guys this is pretty scary stuff. But don't be alarmed about it because I'm here to tell you why it's possibly scary. The iMac when doing this, we'll give a rather horrible, ominous sounding beep when we run the firmware update. This is normal, but Apple don't tell you about it, which I think is wrong. So, we're going to go to the Apple menu. Of course, menu, Apple, menu there menu. it is. About this Mac. Software update, ellipsis. Software update. Soft, software update. Software update dialog. Checking for new software. And we should get, in a few seconds time, we should get the... Uh, Ye old thingy, just zoom in there so you guys can see it. There we go. Oops. Trying to get into where it is. There it is. Now in software update window, continue the full now button. That should be the only update available. Not now button, show details button. Software update window, new software is available for your computer. Available updates table, row one of one, column one of five. Update requires restart indicator install. Check checkbox name. I'm at EFI firmware update version 1.9, size 3.6 megabytes. Selected. Check checkbox. Okay. Name table. HTML content. And interact with the. Quick nav on. Interact with text. About IMAP EFI firmware update 1.9. About IMAP. Quick nav off. And why is it not letting me see what this is about? EFI firmware. Stop interact. This update fixes several issues to improve the stability of IMAP. Early 2011 computers and is recommended for all users. Fine. Quick, this update improves the reliability of booting from the network, addresses an issue that can prevent HTCP authentication after a reboot, and resolves an issue with boot device selection when a USB storage device is hot-plugged. Hmm. Quick nav off. Okay. Install one item, default button. Now we're going to run this, so when we do this... Pr firmware update warning. I'm at EFI firmware update. Okay. V. H. Quick nav on. Text. The IMAP EFI firmware update will update the EFI firmware on your computer. Your computer's power cord must be connected and plugged into a working power source. When your IMAP restarts, a gray screen will appear with a status bar to indicate the progress of the update. It will take several minutes for the update to complete. Do not disturb or shut off the power on your IMAP during this update. So they're telling you a gray screen will appear, but what they actually don't tell you is it's going to go boop. Can't install install update button. To press that. Press stop button. It's so going to download the update and then it'll ask us to restart the computer. Oh, we've got enough to install time. the updates. You must restart your computer. To finish the installation and restart your computer, click restart. Okay. Restart default button. Let's do it. Prep. Here goes nothing. Software update. Software update window. Dim close button. And it's just going through the software update utility now. And this is a well, it's called a you mid. Currently on a close button. This mid. Button is dimmed. A mid 2011 iMac. This is early 2011, but it's mid according to what I can find in line anyway. It's going to reboot. Here it goes. Now this may restart several times. There's a horrible beep. Ooh, I hate that because it takes ages now between that and the chime. Still no chime. This gets worrying, but it's normal. And it's still no. Oh, there we go. There it goes. Now on the screen is an Apple logo and a progress bar. This is perfectly normal. When it's done this update, it will start up and do nicenesses for us. There's the progress bar at the bottom, for those who can see. And the Apple logo at the top, so the whole thing is just taking its time. And providing we don't have a power trip, this should go through fine. Although we generally don't have power trips in this house too often. But I really should have this computer on a UPS. So here we go, it's just about done. The machine should restart one more time, but a friend in Sweden told me it restarted several times on his machine before it come back up normal. Hopefully we won't have that problem. It's gone down again. And we're waiting. And it's waiting. Oh, I see what he means. It's kind of... Ugh, random, it did a double restart on the CD-ROM drive. That's really strange. But that's how it's done. That's what happens. So hopefully you guys will get this. 
Uh, we'll leave you guys on audio boo there. And the YouTube video will continue to the end. Because the machine is now rebooting. This is pretty strange stuff. Hopefully the machine will come back up into Mac OS Lion. Well, that just shows you what an Apple firmware update is. There we go, on the screen it's come up. The speech hasn't come up yet, but my, my Lion screen is there. Looks kind of neat. And this is a 27 inch mid-2011 iMac. I'm just alt-tabbing through. Welcome to Mac OS 10. Voiceover is running. Finder, desktop, Macintosh HD volume. There we go. So we just do one final update check. Menu bar, Apple. Uh, software update, ellipsis. Just software, to make sure. Software update, software update, dialog. Checking for new software. To make sure we don't have any more. Which I don't think we will have. And everything should be good. Now in software update window, quit button. Finder, desktop, Macintosh HD volume. There we go. That's all there is to it. How to update the firmware and what to expect for those who are new to the Mac.